hello guys welcome back with another video of salesforce geek channel and in this video i am going to explain how to create a record in salesforce flow with the help of create record element so this video will be divided into two parts first part how to create single record in salesforce flow and the second part will be how to create multiple record in salesforce flow now why i am dividing this video in two parts because before moving to multiple records we need to understand the concept of loops in salesforce flow so after this video there will be one more video which is loops in salesforce flow so first we need to understand the concept of loops then we can understand the how to create multiple records in salesforce flow easily so that's why we, i divided this video in two parts so let's start with the first part so let's get started so let's create a new flow and now let's create a screen flow click next free form and first of all what i am going to do is create a contact with the help of different different values i will let you know what i am uh, talking about different different values so let's drag and drop a screen over the canvas and type provide the label of the screen let's say create account and api name will be automatically populated now let's drag and drop a text field and provide the name let's say account name api name will be automatically populated and let's make it require field so that you need to enter value if you want to proceed further and also let's create another text field for example or you can say number field and provide let's say number of location so this is a custom field in my org and yeah now you can simply customize this footer and if you want to customize this i am simply going to remove pause and previous button from the can is from the footer so simply go to control navigation and deselect these pause and previous button click done and let's correct these two now what is the purpose of this video to create a record in salesforce flow right so as you can see in the left hand side we have a create record element so let's drag and drop a create record element and provide label let's say create account api name will be automatically populated okay so it says that api name is already used because we uh, we use the same name in the uh, screen so let's provide zero to the api name and now you can see how many records to create one or multiple and again we have another choice how to set the record fields use all values from a record or use separate resources and literal values so now first uh, how many records to create is very clear that either i am going to create a single record or i am going to create multiple records so in this example or in this video i am going to talk about only for the uh, single record which is one and and in this example i am going to show you what is the difference between use all values from a record or use separate resources and literal values so for now as you can see on the screen i have different different values right like first uh, like account name and the second is number of locations so i have different different set of fields which i need to map to create account if i am going to select this use separate resources and literal values so you need to select account over there because we are going to create a account object record so click account and now you can see set field for the account you need to map your values for example your account object contains two fields account name and your number of location now on the screen your user enter those values for example account let's say test and number of location let let's say 5 so these are the data which is provided by the user and you need to map this data along with the account record which you are going to create so in this uh, field you will see all the fields of the account object for example account name so select account name over there and in the value you will see screen components so in the screen component you will see two two uh, tech fields over there which is account name and number of locations so select account name so simply we are mapping like the user inputs and your account object fields so similarly we need to provide add field for number of location and you need to provide number of locations from a screen component now you can see a option manually assign variables so if you click on this you will 
सी स्टोर अकाउंट आई डी इन वेरिएबल फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस अकाउंट इज गेट क्रिएटेड इन द फ्लो नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज द आई डी ऑफ द क्रिएटेड अकाउंट इन सम यूज केसेस आई विल लेट यू नो वॉट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इन जस्ट फ्यू मिनिट सो करेंटली लेट्स डी सेलेक्ट दिस and now let's simply click turn let's connect these two and click save let's say create record element click save and click on debug so let's click on run and now you can see the screen which are which is just created with account name and number of locations so let's say i'm providing test by new flow and in the location i am going to enter 5 and if i click on next and you can check the debug logs screen account name equals to test by new flow number of locations is 5 i did create record element account name mapped with name field and number of locations field mapped with number of locations and you can see our record is gets created and and this is the id of the record So let's move to all accounts and check whether account is created or not. So refresh it. So here you can see test by new flow. So that means our account is gets created. And if I click on this, go to details, check the number of locations. So here you can see number of locations equals five. So that means our flow is working fine. now i am going to explain you the same same flow with the help of record variable so as you can see right now i just simply drag and drop these two text text and number fields over the canvas if i simply delete delete them okay first i need to deselect this and delete this create record element and now i can simply delete them so i deleted both text field and number fields and now i am going to show you how you can select for example you can see create record element you, you can see use all values from a record so that means we are simply providing a record variable to the create record element and that record variable store all the fields all the required fields so you can see all the data for a particular account and it simply create record for us so for that what we need to do is go back to screen and i am going to use fields beta so if you want to check out field beta in a detail explanation you can check out the video which is provided over the i button and i also put the link in the description box so for that what we need to do we need to create a uh, account record variable so let's go to variable type api name let's say acc record and data type would be record and object is account so this is a account record variable and i am not going to select allow multiple values because i am going to store only one account record values and click done now you can see after i provide the record variable here you can see the fields over there so simply if i drag and drop uh, here account name and let's say number of locations so that's how you can see how easily i simply drag and drop those fields and one more thing i don't need to worry about what is the api name for account name and number of locations because i am using acc record as record collection record variable and that record variable is going to store those values and simply click done and i am going to use a uh, create record element and let's say create account by record variable and in the how to set the record fields we need to select use all values from record which is by default and in the record i am going to provide acc record which is a record variable and simply click done click save and let's click on debug now click on run and i am again going to create a account name let's say shubham new account and number of locations let's say 4 and click next so in the right hand side in the debug details you can see number of locations is 4 account name is shubham new account and here you can see variable values these are automatically mapped because we are using account record variable and transaction committed and let's go back to the 
accounts and see whether our record is created or not. So here you can see Shubham new account is created and if I go to details in the number of locations you can see four. So that's the two ways you can create record, create single record in your Salesforce flow. And one more thing which I need to explain is uh, when I click on the create record element and I select use separate resources and literal values over use all values from a record, I need to provide account object. And here you can see fields. So I can also uh, use same account record variable and map those values. So for that what I need to do is account name and click add field which is number of locations. So in the right hand side you can select acc record dot name. So th this is also valid because what you are going to fetch you are getting account name from the record variable and if I select acc record dot number of locations. So this is also valid because the data is stored in a record variable. So just few minutes back I told you I will explain you manually assign variables. So what it is, let's say if I click on this and I need to create a variable over there to store the account ID. For example, the newly created record. So let's say I am going to use a new resource and click a variable. So let's say ACC ID. This ACC ID is going to store the newly created account record. So data type would be text and simply click done. So now this ACC ID will store the account ID and click done. So just to let you know how you will use this ID, I am going to create one more screen to create a related context to this record. So let's say I am going to create with the help of text. So let's say text. And I'm going to provide, uh, let's say, contact last name because last name is a required field in contact. And if I click on require and then click done, okay, I need to provide a screen name. Let's say create, let's say contact. And again, it will be automatically populated and click done. Connect these two. And now again use create record element, let's say create contact, description related contact because I am going to relate this contact to the newly created account. So related contact, you need to select one and I am going to use, use separate resources and literal values. So for example, let's say I need to type contact because I am going to create a contact record and in the field let's say last name. So let's map with the screen component, which is last name. Here you can see context last name. So select context last name and simply you need to add one more field, which is account ID because I need to uh, relate this contact to the newly created account. So in the account ID, let's provide ACC ID because we are going, we are storing account ID in the ACC variable. So that's how you need to select manually assign variable to store the newly created account ID. Click on done, connect these two and save your flow. You can debug this, click on debug and let's say provide account name, let's say Salesforce geek and number of locations, let's say 10 or you can say 5 and click next. So till now you can see our account is created and in the ACC ID you can see our ID of the account, right? So now you can see the second screen which I provided over the flow. Let's say contact last name. Let's say I'm going to provide geeky trails and I'm going to click on next. So now in the, in the geeky trails one you can see our contact last name is geeky trails and in create one contact record where account id is this it will come from acc id and last name is geeky trails so and our contract is also created with the id of this so now let's move back to the accounts and check whether our contract is also created with the, along with the account so here you can see salesforce geek account over there let's click on salesforce geek and go to related 
so i think i don't have the related tab so let's add a related tab over there so let's click on edit page and drag and drop a related list which is single so let's drag and drop and in the in the related list let's select contacts save this and let's go back so in the context you can see geeky trails this is the newly created account which we created from the salesforce flow so i hope this uh, how to create single record from salesforce flow is very clear to you and the next video is from loops in salesforce flows and after the loops video i am going to explain you how to create multiple records because to explain you how to create multiple records in salesforce flow we need to understand the concept of loops in salesforce flows so stay tuned for that thank you so much uh, if you watching this video till now